Mike McCool here in the Royal Examiner studio and with me today is Sue Lawrence. Sue is a local entrepreneur. You like that? Sure. And a realtor. <laughs> she uh, she has uh, key move properties on Main Street and she also runs that little neat little eclectic boutique called White Picket Fence right next door. So it's the blue building next to uh, Crazy Willie's place down at CNC. So right across from the gazebo. Right across from the gazebo. But she's always doing a great thing. She's a great community supporter. Uh, and um, so she's got this cool thing in her head that she's going to do, and she's talked to some of her friends, Christmas in July. And, well, it's, and, you're, and you're going to get it in July, so tell <laughs> us when it is. Christmas in July. For the last couple of years, we have um, had Santa come in. He's sent us a message and said, I'm, I'm coming, coming through Virginia. Right. So in, in the middle of July, usually around the 25th, right. uh, we set up... A little spot at the gazebo, and he comes in, and the kids come up and tell Santa what they want for Christmas, right. which is not too early because you got to get those those requests early. You know, it'll early. be here before you know it. Shoo, and that's the truth. So, for the last few years, it's been kind of low key, just Santa saying, "Hey, I'm coming in," and we get the kids out and right. they get to take their pictures. This year, uh, Santa said, "I want to go a little bit bigger because there's so many things going on." So much controversy in so many places. Let's make people happy. And this digital products take a lot longer to make than the toy. <laughs> <laughs> so, so it's going to be, when is it? July 29th from okay. 11 to 3. We have merchants and vendors um, coming to the gazebo area, to the grassy knoll. Um, <laughs> yeah. uh, they're going to set up. Uh, some will be selling some items. Some will be just hosting games. We're going to have some uh, vendors who are allowing kids to paint pottery or uh, Christmas ornaments, cookie decorating, some other uh, games. Oh, my gosh. My brain just went blank. The game that you throw. Yes. Cornhole? That one. Okay. That one. I can never remember the name of that. I don't play it because I'm not that good, but... So we've got uh, a bunch of a bunch of vendors. Uh, we've got a food truck lined up just in case because Santa does get hungry. He, you got to feed him in order to. <laughs> you got to feed. I him. don't know. Look, hopefully, he won't bring them stinky old reindeer again. You know. Reindeer are not coming on this trip, which is which is why. Yeah, I, see, I see you got Rain, your reindeer. You got your make really it. cute uh, Christmassy <laughs> outfit on. It's it's too hot. Luckily, for Luckily, the, the air conditioning is working good because yeah. that looks a little warm. <laughs> But we've, we've got a whole bunch of people going to be showing up and participating, and we, we'd like everybody to come down and join in. It's going to be a lot of fun this year. It's, it's only a few good. hours in the middle of an afternoon, right before the kids get back to school. Oh, and that's so. another thing. August the 9th, I just... That's Short crazy. Summer. Sure, yeah. crazy, crazy. So you got a list of people so far. Can I, people still get involved in people this? People can absolutely just... just Give me a shout. Stop by. Stop by White Picket Fence or Keep Move Properties. Right. If you can't reach me there, give me a call. Yep. Um, Penny Lane Hair Company is helping me sponsor this. Mallory over at Penny Lane. She's okay. she's crazy, and she may be doing some fairy hair for this, but we're not sure yet. She she hasn't confirmed That's that yet. It's a big yet. thing. I see a lot of more mature women with their fairy hair. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody got to have a little bling. I know. That's it. <laughs> but we've got. Um, Grumpy Monkey Girl, who is coming to set up and sell some okay. products. White Picket Fence, of course, and Key Move Properties are going to be sponsoring some games. CNC Frozen Treats, they're going to make a special treat. Okay. Um, Explore Art and Clay. Arlene said she's bringing some paint your own ornaments. So that's going to be fun sure. for kids. She always comes up with something. She to does. Do. She absolutely does. Main Street Geek and Mountain Trails are going to be participating. <coughs> Downtown Front Royal, they have been great at volunteering and, and okay. helping out for some of these things. They're going to come in and help us do some um, decorate your own cookies, okay. which were also donated by Grumpy Monkey Girl. Okay. Um, Samuel's Library, we've asked them to be there and save Samuel's Library group. They'll be there. They're setting up some games and okay. um, hopefully we can get out some library cards and get some information out there for people. Um, we've got a couple of local people 
who just want to be involved. So they're going to be sponsoring them. Walt Mabe's going to be there sponsoring something. And um, Petty Betty will be there. Oh, yeah. Hopefully she'll bring that little fruit thingy to me. <laughs> that is so good. So good. She makes lots of good things. Uh, Salvation Army asked if they could come ring the bell. Absolutely. 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 Oh, yeah. um, and I was hoping to get Royal Cinemas maybe to pass out some popcorn, but I haven't had a chance to well, talk. Rick, to pay attention. <laughs> <laughs> All this those people, <laughs> you know, in, in, including Rick Novak at the theater and, and the bowling alley, they always support the, all these community activities. And, Absolutely. And, and sometimes you just got to let people know that things are going on and they will come out of the woodwork. Right. And we just need the public to show up and enjoy it. Well, I think it's so important to get, get people down to our Main Street area because we hear it all the time. People don't know what's down there. People don't know what's happening. Things like this. Um, there, this just cropped up at the last minute. Sure. We weren't going to do this. I'm going out of town, and, and I wasn't going to be able to be there. So we pushed the date back a little when Santa said he wasn't coming until the end of the month anyway. Right, so that worked out. See how things work out? It worked out perfect. Yeah, that so, trip back from Florida, is, it's hard to leave, you know, but it's been a little warm down there, so I think they want to. he wants to get back up to a little cooler weather. Yeah. Definitely. But it, but it's all come together over the last few days, and it's been tremendous, the, the number of people who said, yes, I want to be involved. Yes, I right, want to do right. this. And I'm, I'm excited because right. the more we get the word out there, the more kids will come down into sure. town. And, and it's a good opportunity to get to know your neighbors, a good opportunity to get to know what's happening down on Main Street. Yeah. And it's just fun. It's fun. It's great. Part of our town, our small town charm is what I like to call it. The Hallmark Christmas special. Is that what it is? The Hallmark <laughs> That's probably a copyrighted word, so we oh, probably sorry. can't say that. All right, so uh, it's like we were downtown uh, the other night when I swing by and seen you at the office, and she said, I'm going to do Christmas in July. I said, okay, come and talk to me. Tell me about it. Uh, but they had a movie going on across the street. Uh, the night before, we have the music the the uh, Blue Ridge Council puts on. Blue Ridge Council puts on a great, great and we don't, concert I don't think every people, Thursday. You know, we try to tell people all about mm -hmm. it, and then they say, oh, I forgot, I forgot about it. It sneaks up on you. So every week, you know, they've been doing that. We've had all these activities. Uh, new businesses are opening left and right oh on Main gosh, Street. Oh, my gosh, yes. We've got, we've got a, got a little bit of, of everything. A yeah. whole bunch of new businesses coming yeah. in. Um, Melissa's just opened her gallery, That's which kind is of interesting. interesting. And very interesting. She's very talented. She'll stop in there and take yeah. a and peruse got, the back gallery, you know. Uh, a Reway Bridal move, but but there's another company that moved in there. Mm -hmm. um, not there. Sorry, that's not what I'm thinking. Okay. Well, she just moved over she, on Royal Avenue. She she's, moved, yes. And that place, she's got so much stuff in there. Oh, she's she, And she's got some gorgeous things. And if, you're one, if you need to, like, just, you need to, like, need a prom dress, this is a place to go. Let me need, uh, and just then a it fancy dress. Bells, the, now it's Buckle and Bells. Buckle and, and Bells. And she's and got Olivia's of, doing some nice things in there. Yeah. She's got some beautiful things going on. We've got uh, the Royal Nutrition's changed their name. I'm not sure what it is, but they've moved across the street. But where they were is going to be the bakery. Oh, that's right. Um, I remember reading something about that. Yeah. That would be great. I don't think they're open yet. And then there's another another new little pub bar going into next to Vibrissa right. down there. So a lot of things well, happening. I know when I drove down the street after I left your place, I was surprised the, uh, the restaurants, uh, they were busy. I, I, Everybody's been... The restaurants have all been busy. Um, the 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 new Thai folks have right. have done a great job. Yeah. The Royal Spice people are still down there working. Um, Talk of the Mountain Seafood, just in case you want to stop by in the evenings and grab something on your way home. Boy, there's a lot of stuff lot happening of stuff. on Main Street. They, they say is how the how the Main Street goes goes the rest of the town and the county. So we want to keep it vibrant and alive, and that's kind of where right. the, the eclectic. Charm yeah. comes from a lot of guests this this past week from Germany, um, from some from England, some some from different um, India. Um, we noticed a lot of people coming in from different states. Sure. We've got a lot of people coming in through the states and ask what their destination was, and it was Front Royal. So that's kind of exciting. That's kind of cool. Yeah, yeah, good. And we're here all the time, and we don't appreciate it. <laughs> All we do is complain. <laughs> <laughs> we shouldn't complain. We've no, got a good town. It is. It's great. We've, we've got a good town. We've got some kinks to work out. People but always say, well, I'm going to move away. Oh, there's so much going on. I don't like it here. I said, 
you know, they've never been anyplace else. Yeah. And I said, trust me, no matter where you go, you're, you're going to find something to complain about. I, I hear it all the time that, that no place is as good as home. That's and, right. And it's really been there, true. done that. I can tell you it's true. <laughs> But but we've we've done a great job with our downtown area, and I and I'm really proud of everything that the town has pitched into yeah. this year. Lizzie Lewis has done a fantastic yeah, job for us. Yeah, get out of the way. I'm coming through. She says, you know, absolutely. That's what absolutely. we need. You know, someone's got to be in charge. <laughs> and 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 uh, and there's talk about doing something at the youth center, and there's yeah, and, uh, I'm of excited course, the about Cardinals that. have been really good about bringing things. They take that two months, June and July. And they bring that ball, you know, forty some games they bring to town, and a lot of people support that. And, and uh, on cue is now set yes. up out there at the ball field. So yeah. not. that's that's done, and they've really put a beautiful space in downtown. That's yeah. going to be a good anchor store, I think, for uh, I a think lot of activity, especially in the evening hours. Maybe it'll be great. Not so much for the parking. This <laughs> People will always find a place to, if there's a, something going on worthwhile to go to, right. they will find a place to true. park. This is true. That's true. So, you this know. This is true. Parking. But there's still still parking for the beer museum, the Virginia Beer Museum. We always find space to park there. There's always parking. There's parking <laughs> everywhere. We just got to look. It won't be right in front of the building. I mean, well, we're so true. spoiled. This is true. But we do have some new people at the visitor center helping out, and they've been doing a bang up job. Um, and the Heritage Society is getting a lot of attention these days. They're There's really a lot of cool things there. So we're helping them out, trying to get the word out yeah. at the Warren Heritage Society. So maybe we'll... Uh, well, they're going. also um, um, big in the Festival of Leaves, yes. which which Freeba also right. takes care of. Yeah. Um, and we've got a great committee again this year. We've you know, got we're some, already working on the new festival. Oh my gosh, in we're, October, we're so. going to be bigger and better than we were last year. Yeah. And last year we were voted the number one festival. So, yeah, great. <laughs> we're pretty proud of that. But we've got a lot of new things happening this year with that. But we're also looking for more vendors and some volunteers. Right. So, so if anybody wants to have an application to be a vendor or a food sponsor or a or an event sponsor, get in touch with one of us, and and we're happy to. We'll put all that information, the links below the story, yeah. here so people can find yeah. where to go. But there's so much stuff goes on in our town. Take advantage of it, especially Christmas in July. It doesn't hurt that. Christmas in July is just one day. Yeah, it's but just it's one so day. exciting, and I'm I'm. I can't look at me. I'm maybe, just so excited. Maybe it'll get, you know, <laughs> gotta get you built up for the holidays because people get a little, you know, hope you know, bah humbug. Uh, right. As it gets close to the holidays. And you have to remember, Santa watches all year round. It's yeah. not just December. So, got his what eye they on say. it. Yep, the elves are everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Sue. Okay, we beat this enough, so let's go on <laughs> and close it out. But it's July 29th from 10 to 3? 11 to 3. Oh, 11 to 3. 11 to 3. At, at the gazebo area. Um, we're not closing the parking lot. It's just... Just on the grassy knoll. On the grassy knoll. Um, <laughs> but if you can't find a place to, there's there's all kinds of places to park around town. Yeah. And there's all kinds of things to do. And we won't be the only folks doing Christmas in July, but we're going to try and make it fun for the kids. It'll be fun. But yeah. July 29th, 11 to 3. Off. Yeah, drop yeah. your kids off and then you go shopping. And that well, that's, what, that's what it's all about, isn't it? Yeah. Right. <laughs> all right. Thanks again, Sue. Really Thank appreciate you. it. Thank you.